right here you see our block and we want to create multiple blocks but don't you think it would get annoying to code every single block well we're going to use we're going to change block and instead of new objects it's going to be new array and now we're going to create one array that's going to hold all the blocks and as you can see I added this variable up here max block and I'm just adding this so if I just increase max block it'll increase how many blocks are created so I'm going to create a a for loop I'm going to say for int or for var i equals zero i is less than or equal to max block i plus plus and then I'm going to say block I equals I want to close this and then I'm going to say for the X location I'm going to say I plus 100 times no I want to say I times 32 plus 100 so what that will do is that will every time it creates a new block it's going to move over 32 where it puts it and so we're going to create um, all these blocks which is 5 and then now we got to draw all those blocks of the screen so we need to go to the bottom and where I say um where is it where I say here draw image I'm going to say for var i equals zero i is less than or equal to max block then i plus plus we're going to say graphics dot draw image block i sprite and a after every time we say block we're going to put this i after it see there now it will draw every single block we created then we're going to go up here to here's where we collide with the block and we're going to create another for loop for var i equals zero i is less than or equal to max block I plus plus. Now we're going to say when it's we're going to check for collision with block I, block I um, equals block I. Now save this and see if you don't get any errors. And as you can see, we just created five blocks and now all I have to do is something like change max block to 6 and it will create two more blocks and I can collide with each single one of them so that's how you can use an array to easily do this with blocks another thing I could do I could say let's say block 6 but then I could um, say just to 4 so I'm not going to create this is only going to define 4 blocks and for those other two blocks I'm just going to say um, block 5 I want to define them separately so block 5 and block 6 block 5 would be um, let's say bl block 5 is x it's going to be whatever blocks 4 x is plus 50 and then I'm going to say block the block 6 is going to be whatever blocks 5 is plus 50 and then the y is going to be 250 now when we create this let's change the x just to like this there let's give the this one's X a let's give it a let's say 300 let's see how far that would put it over there that's good and then the other one's going to be 382 and then the Y is going to be 250 there as you, now there are two blocks over there and I could jump over to them and jump onto that one and if we want down here there's depth the depth will become most important in like isometric types games but depth but basically all you really need to know about depth right here now is that the last 
thing drawn has the lowest depth so if we want Mario to be up front we're just going to draw Mario last and now Mario will be in front of all the blocks as you can see you can jump onto that block and another problem is when you're in the air you don't want him to stop moving left and right when you let go of the key so right here when you say if not left and not right we're also going to check and um, player dot velocity comma y equals zero now when we start this and I jump I'll keep on moving that direction I press the key until I land on a platform that's a little bit more realistic so that's just for this tutorial with multiple blocks now as you can see I can jump between these blocks Ooh. Mm -hmm.